Grand Theft Auto V is no stranger to rumors, and there is now another rumor that has surfaced um, on PC Gamer that has mentioned Grand Theft Auto, or more specifically Rockstar, is now working on a full-blown Grand Theft Auto MMO. Um, this was mentioned in the GTA forums by a person named Soft Secret. Apparently, they've only posted three times, and each time it was to basically post rumors about the game and potential content or development on the GTA series. So in this list, um, there's a well, there's a list of specifically named DLCs and what they're named and their potential release date. Now, this is just rumor. Uh, PC Gamer does mention that Soft Secret has been wrong before, but they've also been right. So I don't really want to talk about the DLC specifically. I'll put the link up in the description below so you can check it out. The DLCs are not what interests me. What interests me is the idea of a full-blown GTA MMO. Now, you take obviously you take rumors with a grain of salt, but in my mind, a GTA MMO is the next logical step for Rockstar. If you look at GTA 5, for example, all of their content, all of their DLC has been specifically for online. They have yet to release a single DLC for the single player experience. For me, that that's that's kind of like the first clue, the first flag, is that they're really pushing hard for GTA Online to be successful, and it has been successful. And it seems like that's really where they're putting their resources. There is another rumor out there that I've seen before, and I'll uh, I'll find it and I'll put it in the description below if I can. And I don't remember exactly what the article said, but. It went along the lines of the next GTA not being in a single city, but kind of covering the whole country, which is which sounds awesome, you know. And I'm a big fan of the GTA single player experience. So that I mean, being able to travel to multiple cities in the single player would be awesome. But I think if that rings true, that would be more telling of an MMO. And so when you see these rumors about a GTA MMO, when you see these rumors about a GTA that covers an entire country. This, in my mind, if these things are true, would definitely point towards an MMO. The thing is, is I, I can kind of see the game already. You would play, you would make a character, uh, maybe they implement some kind of class system, uh, maybe you like you're a hacker, you kind of like the heist work. You hire different people for different jobs. Maybe you're a hacker. Maybe you're, you know, uh, some guy who's proficient with weapons. Maybe you're a guy who can fly really well. You know, any number of things. And you make this quote-unquote class character. And maybe with the different class, uh, it comes with a different backstory. You know, uh, GTA's done really well with uh, implementing their characters from the single player campaign into GTA Online and having some kind of story revolve around them. They've been really good at that. And so you make this class, you have your backstory, you have a reason for existing in this world, and you could be going to different cities, doing different missions, different heists, different whatever. That would be, quote unquote, the zones, would be these different cities, and you could fly to different cities um, or take a train or whatever and, you know, go to the next city and do missions and stuff there. And yeah, I mean, when you think about it like that, an MMO starts to sound pretty likely. Like I said, they've been really pushing this GTA online, been able to sell you a $60 game and still, you know, charge money for in-game purchases, the shark cards. Now, I don't know how successful those have been. I've never bought any, but um, I imagine they're somewhat successful. And so when you see them basically abandoning, eh, maybe abandoning is a strong word, uh, but not focusing on the single-player experience and putting all their eggs in the GTA Online basket, 
it's it, it only makes sense that an MMO would be next. I, I, I feel like the GTA Online that we know of today is basically a prototype for things to come. I could definitely see them one of two scenarios. Either they abandon GTA single player altogether, or the next GTA is a single player game only, and GTA Online, MMO, whatever, is an, a separate game all on its own. And I could see people buying into this. And it, and it, and it's and it was it would be really cool. And not only that, GTA is is the reigning king when it comes to modern open world sandbox games. There have been a few franchises that tried to emulate GTA, but nobody has been successful as dethroning GTA. Uh, really, not even close. I mean, we had Saints Row, but they kind of developed that game to exist in its own realm with how zany it is. We have the Mafia series, which is... Just, Mafia 3 is probably the first one that's getting any real production value, and even then, there's still a lot of rough spots of that game, so they have some things to iron out. And really, that's about it. I mean, there's not a ton of games like GTA out there. Even less in the MMO market. GTA and Rockstar could be the only game in town when it comes to an MMO of that type. There's one other game that I know of that's like it. It's called APB, and it's really not that good, especially compared to GTA Online. So these are just rumors, but I, 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 it, for me, it's kind of, like I said, the next logical step. They really... The only way they can grow the GTA brand at this point is really just making the next game bigger than what it is. I mean, GTA, when you deduce it down to its core elements, has been kind of the same thing since its inception. Um, and it's still been kind of the same thing since they did Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh, I mean, they've made it bigger, they've added new mechanics, but it's all essentially the same thing. I can't imagine Rockstar wanting to sit here and be stagnant about GTA. Sure, they can make a GTA 6, just make it bigger, make a story, and they'd sell, you know, a billion dollars worth of copies. But I think they see more longevity in the MMO market. I mean, if I was the president of a development studio and I had the resources, which Rockstar definitely has, to make an MMO and to be the only game in town, I, I would definitely seize that opportunity. You look at Blizzard with Warcraft. Now, Warcraft is definitely not the only game in town, but for a lot of people, it is. And being a developer and maybe looking for a game that you can extend out 10 years and still make money off of, Warcraft is still making Blizzard billions of dollars every year 12 years later. They're still making a ton of fucking money off Warcraft. Rockstar is still a business. They, they, they still make video games and to make money. I mean, that's really the bottom line. So when you see that, when you see that a company's been able to develop a game and make billions of dollars a year off it for 12 years straight without having to make a sequel, that's pretty attractive. And especially when you look at it there's nothing like Grand Theft Auto Online out there, except for that one other game. And it does, <clears throat> and APB definitely does not have the polish or features or gameplay that Grand Theft Auto has. So it's really kind of irrelevant. And to not only go with GTA Online, but to make a full-blown MMO and have it last for years and years, I mean, there's going to be, it's going to be hard-pressed to find a developer who can match what Rockstar can create with Grand Theft Auto. So again, these these are just rumors. Uh, nothing has been said, obviously. The only thing we know what, about anything Rockstar is doing is with Red Dead. But if you really think about it, if you really look at the actions Rockstar is taking towards Grand Theft Auto and think about the potential there, and and also keep in mind that Rockstar has 
the means and the resources to develop something like that and be the only kid on the block, it only makes sense. It makes sense from an artistic developer perspective. It makes sense from a business perspective. I can't see them not tackling GTA Online MMO. I can't see them really blowing that thing out of the water. And, I mean, it would, it would be amazing being able to travel to different cities. Can you imagine playing Grand Theft Auto Online and not being stuck in Los Santos but go to San Fierro, go to Vice City, go to Liberty City. Maybe they even add new cities along the line. Maybe they do, like, a mock-up Chicago or a mock-up Seattle or something like that. You know, or even do it worldwide, mock up Tokyo or something. I mean, the potential for a GTA MMO is endless. I mean, <laughs> you could really kill it with that. And so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something like that. But, uh, you know, that's just my two cents on the, on the whole rumor. Like, subscribe, share. I'm out.